Hey everyone, welcome back to Online with Mr. Olson. Um, this week what we're going to be talking about is food photography. So you guys are going to need to pick an item in your house, pick a dinner that mom makes, something that you really love and are passionate about, and you're going to photograph that. And you're going to photograph it as if it was going to go into a magazine spread. So you're going to need to have multiple angles, multiple looks, different arrangements. You're going to want to change things up. You're again going to need to think through the details, and I want you to take your time with this. The focus of this is about understanding what goes into taking a good photo. So you need to be thinking through your um, rules of thirds. You need to be thinking through your composition. You need to think through your lighting, your background, all the different distractions, different things. So you're going to see me go from start to finish on this, and I'm going to show you how I rearrange things and clean things and two totally different looks and feels to it. And hopefully you'll uh, enjoy. As you guessed, I'm probably going to do coffee. You guys know me. I love coffee. I have way too many ways to make coffee. And so, of course, what do I highlight? Coffee. So today what I'm gonna show you is exactly how I'm gonna go through and what I would do if I was doing a photo shoot for like a coffee shop. First, I'm gonna clean up my area, get everything prepped and ready to go, make sure that I've thought through my um, actual product, make sure that I've looked at the setting, rearrange things, and then boom. As you can see, I'm trying to first highlight the actual coffee itself, um, but I noticed that there's something wrong with it, so I need to go through and fix some things, adjust stuff, and keep taking pictures. Again, I'm going back and forth, and I'm looking through all those details that we've talked about so many times, making sure that every single thing is exactly the way it's supposed to be. back reset check my framing check my focal length check my zoom length and remember all this is just done with a standard camera phone I'm not using any fancy portrait modes or filters or anything I'm using just the basic camera you can create a lot of artistry in depth by adding in depth so by bringing that bag a little bit farther forward it makes it and isolates it so that that becomes even more of the focus didn't like what i was seeing so i keep adjusting things and then that was the, the shot that i ended up with I'm gonna change things up now folk re Examine where I want to do things. Took that shot and now this is just part of me actually making the coffee. So you can see that more goes into this than just taking the pictures. Coffee shops love coffee beans. So I'm going to think through how I can artistically show these. Again, I'm rearranging things. It might look weird in person, but in a photo, it looks completely different and it looks better. So you got to think through the layout. Tap to adjust my exposure, tap to adjust my focus. I get wide shots, I get close up shots and I'm back to just making a cup of coffee. So now that I've got the coffee in the portafilter, it's just another shot that the magazine or coffee shop could use. So I'm just looking through the composition, thinking through the way that everything is laid out. I go through a couple different options. I ended up not even using this picture here. Um, but one thing is I did notice that my hand was creating a shadow, so I took my hand out. That's why you see my hands behind my back and I'm shooting just with one hand. I just really didn't quite like how this was turning out. You can see I keep adjusting, keep trying, keep trying to get it to work right. Moving on to actually pouring the coffee. Again, you wanna take pictures of each and every stage um, to show different looks and feels of your the dish that you're 
uh, photograph it. All right, so I've got the cup of coffee and now I'm gonna again just take a picture of just that. Thinking through each and every detail, even down to the drops that are on the inside. I wanna make sure it's nice and clean, looks right. And I'm just thinking through where this is. What does it look like? Where's the shadows? Where's the light? How can I make this look better? What angles can I use? All right, and now I need to actually make the, steam the milk for making a latte, so. Cut all that out for you. Now this part was really tricky. I wasn't quite sure how I was gonna do this because it takes two hands to pull this off. So I quickly just take a couple shots and then I go back to making my coffee. In the end, you can see the latte art is um, very clear, it's visible, and I keep adjusting, keep rearranging things, keep trying to figure out exactly where I wanna put things, making sure that my shadow is not in the way. Now I'm gonna add in some extra features just to give us, again, another look, another feel, something that's different from what we just did. And this is actually the shot that I ended up using. And there you have it. So as we come to an end, remember, you need five total pictures that you're gonna to upload to the assignment. Let me know if you have any questions.